always looking for that next variety, but it's an 11 year process from cross to release. And so there's this constant process that has to remain uninterrupted. In 2014, the soybeans that were planted ahead of us at Ashland Bottoms were sprayed with a chemical that was supposed to be a herbicide on the soybeans, but there was a contamination in the chemical and it turned out to be very detrimental to wheat production the following year. And so we really lost essentially about half of our breeding program because of that herbicide damage that following year. You know, when that happens, you're just really, it's just like, oh man, that's all that work and it's gone. And is there gonna be something there? I always have this prayer about, please God, just show me the plants that are here that I should see, show me, draw my attention to the things that are unique, that are valuable, that have worth. Uh, that year it was more just let there be something here that has value and worth and that can be useful for our producers. And that's where Providence showed up as a double haploid line. You know, there were 47 head rows in the field from that population. That was one of three that I kept. As it went through testing, then that, you know, after a couple of years, it's like, hey, this is really, really good. This is, this is beating everything and it's doing it consistently. So as we got deeper and deeper into the program and we started seeing as we got to the elite testing and it wins the KIN by three to five bushels per acre for three straight years, you're going, okay, there's something here. There's consistency and there's value. We're extremely excited to announce the release of KS Providence. Uh, there's a lot of meaning behind that name for me, I, and part of it is just the fact that we found something in that field that we didn't know that there would even be anything after all that we lost in 2015. And then the other part of it is the personal part of the story with my wife's um, early onset dementia and just the way that we've seen God care for us and my family through that process. So there's. There's those elements of meaning in KS Providence for me. Having grown up on a farm, there is this whole realization that you are, you can do everything right. You can make all the best plans, you can fertilize properly, but you are still at the mercy of the weather conditions and the environment and all of those things. So we are really relying on something beyond just what we can do ourselves. In almost all of our situations, it's done well going in after soybeans, it's done well after corn, um, done well in more conventional till situations and no-till situations. So I think it's just overall a good workhorse variety that would be sort of what you would want as the foundation of your production. Across my career, we've developed a lot of good varieties that have been familiar to producers. We've released Overly, which led the state in acreage, as well as Fuller, Everest, Bob Dole. There's kind of just been this flow of material through the breeding program, and it's always fascinating to me to look back at the pedigrees and see the parents that pull through and how they really become the foundation for the next round of varieties. There's just this interweaving of streams of effort from all the way from back from, that precedes me, from breeders before me, from from Elmer Heine, from Raleigh Sears, all the way to where we are today. And so you just really see that, that stream of effort and work to continually to push the crop forward to make better varieties. And for me, in my program, in my career, I feel like Providence is a bit of a culmination of that effort and all of that history to bring something that at least I feel like and I believe has tremendous worth for our producers.